Wow, it's finally time! I'm off to Switzerland for a fly and ride. But before I ride, I got some work to do. Then I'll meet Mark at Zurich. Woohoo! It's finally my turn! See you soon, Winston! For those of you guys who want to go to Switzerland, it's like the good old days. You don't need anything. But just be sure to have your vaccination cert downloaded. The one with the QR code. See you soon, bro! I finally finished my work trip in Geneva. Right now it's 2.18 p.m. I'm on the intercity train to go to Zurich from Geneva to meet Mark. And we'll start our fly and ride in Switzerland. Finally! Finally! I get to see Winston! <laughs> He's been away for a week! Anyway, yes. we are now in Zurich. It's been a bloody long day. I've had a bloody long flight. We're gonna call it and we're gonna sleep. Long, long, long day tomorrow again. But this time, we're gonna be riding. Very nice color, very nice color. Very triple three. Yep. Let's start the bike. Virgin start. GSA. <laughs> Life of a content creator bringing laptop on a road trip. <laughs> very scary. Huh? Remember I said in the episode, those of you who bring a uh, laptop, sorry, the road is a very harsh place. You have to be very, very careful. Make sure you protect it with anything you've got. Huh? Strapping the strap straps and the straps and the strap straps. This one will go that side. Easy right, these kind of bags. So usually for this case right, the top panniers is usually for a helmet because when you go for places of, of interest right, you do not want to carry the helmets and walk around. So you want to walk hands-free. So usually we leave this space for the helmets. But if you have only two panniers, then keep the panniers that on the side that the bike is leaning on to store your helmets. Well, sometimes you have to modify the straps the original straps was not that easy to mount because there's loop and there's no buckle. So D rings, actually, right? Yeah, D rings. D -rings. So we actually got a modified one that you can probably get from the army market, and uh, it's a loop here, so it's pretty much very easy to strap on. And just go through if you want, just be sh be safe. And then just pull. And same for here, and you're good to go. Very stable. Famous last words. Later we go on the road. Lah. Hey bro 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 bro! <laughs> <laughs> no lah, it should be good. We tried and tested in our Taiwan trip. Tested and proven, that is true. Okay, let's check Mark's storage. Hey bro! Oh, it's so loads! You should save them all. You see? <laughs> Can ah? Hey, type of ah. <laughs> redo lah, redo lah! <laughs> Compared to this, <laughs> no, I, I, don't do, I can't do stunts anyway. I lazy lah. <laughs> I just want to ride. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just want to ride now. It starts to rain a little bit, but no worries. We are pretty much waterproof. Bro, you have enough. <laughs> the chess A doesn't have that big screen. But well, it's, it does the job. I have it. Not too bad. He's the sweeper anyway. <laughs> okay, we've got all our gear on the bike and we are almost ready to go. But give us 20 seconds. We need to make a very special gratitude shout out to our very main sponsor, very first one, Motor World, for kitting us from head to toe keeping us safe and keeping us warm. BMW for supplying the bikes. Carousel, our exclusive partner. And of course, Switzerland Tourism Board for making us feel so welcome here in Zurich. Thank you everybody for making this project possible. Bye-bye. Okay, now I have successfully connected my phone Wow, bloody time! To the bike navigation Okay Okay Mark on the R1250 GSA And I'm on the R1250 RT Hey, Chalat eh Now, I just realised that we're going to be riding these bikes for the next few days, right? Yeah, yeah. Then go back to Singapore, Kalihau ah. Okay, one thing to always remember that we have to keep on the right side of the road because this is a left-hand drive country. So how does the bike feel? Bro, it's an R1250 GSA bro. <laughs> Don't need to ask bro. I'm very happy bro. Let's get accustomed to the traffic here. Oh yes, wait. Uh, can you see the speed limit on your dash? Yeah, 60. Yeah, okay good. Can you, can you see now it's 80? Yep, correct. So we need to follow speed limits because they regulate speeds very very strictly in Switzerland. Yep. You cannot be even one kilometer off Shokanawan. Yep. So just remind each other. You know what I'm telling myself? What? Be a good boy, be a good boy. Think you only have two points left. Think you only have two points left. <laughs> How's the jacket? Okay, I'm still very dry. Yep. Think I'm very dry. Never yep. slip through nothing. I'm very dry too. Very, very surprised with the quality of the jacket. Still getting used to the bike. So although the R1250 RT looks, looks big and heavy, but uh, on the move, right, it's surprisingly very, very nimble. You know why? Why? It's a BM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Quite nimble. Actually, very nimble. Eh? Okay, we go petrol kiosk first yeah. to get our first pilot break. I, I'm, I'm warming up thanks to the heated seat and grips, so okay lah. Uh, yeah, the heated seat, I don't feel so much on the butt, but it's comfortable. But the, now it's getting real hot on my palms. I feel shocked with basket, my hand damn cold. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really surprised uh, these gears from Moto World, uh, they really keep us quite warm. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised. Yeah, okay. very, very surprised. I thought I, I wasn't expecting the thermal layer to perform this well lah. Yeah, and, and you know, my Combini is a uh, mesh and with the insulation and the rain protector inside, it actually keeps me very warm too. Oh, because you're using the rain gear also? The, that's the rain insulation from the from the jacket. Right, right, right. Oh, the roads are actually good. Sir. Quite good, right? It's not slippery even in wet, right? Okay. I think there's a petrol station coming. I think just top up lah, bro. Top up lah. okay lah. Okay, so the petrol price here is about the same as Singapore. Two thirty. Uh. How much you pump? Wait, I'm trying to get a full amount. Four dollar twenty four cent. I pump ten sixty eight. My God! Okay. 
Okay, here. Yeah. Hey, Jalan ah, bro. What? We got a big problem. What? Very, very big. No, 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 not we. I got a big problem. Yeah. I quite like the top 50 GSA. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the RT though. Yo, yo, BMW, why you do this to me? <laughs> it's freaking nice, eh? Wow, this bike. Like, like we now what? Hundred click already, right? Yep. No fuel. Wow, well, ninety nine, eh? Ninety five point six lah. Okay lah, hundred lah. This car will be hundred. Yeah. No fuel, sir. No fuel. No fuel. Very comfortable. Yo, no, no fuel. Okay, the heater grip is fucking useful. So we took a little bit of a rest stop. Come here. Where are you going away? Come here, come here, come here. Where are you going away? So we took a little bit of a rest stop. We are at, and I'm sorry to all our Swedish friends, I'm probably going to murder this, but we are at Rat, Ratsfalz Wolfsprung. <laughs> you know Swedish correctly, please. I got no clue if it's correct. You see, so good not to have hair, right? Because my hair is so, <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> Enjoy this. Looks like the jam is gonna take forever. Oh my god. Bro, you see? Jacket open, glove off. <laughs> Next one, my helmet will come off, bro. <laughs> but I don't understand uh, why can't we squeeze through the traffic? Yeah, lane splitting is illegal in Switzerland. Yeah, it's dead slow here. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. Luckily, these bikes are not hot. <laughs> 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 Very okay. Yeah. It is 16 degrees now. See, Hi, bro. You can see. We haven't we haven't go to Malaysia, right? Yeah. So I practice customs. Yeah, practice. <laughs> uh, at least we have some great scenery. You see the house there. Oh my god. Very big decathlon here, and then what we are doing now? We, it looks like we are. It's called San Antonio. Mm. So what we are doing now is going to get some uh, late lunch or early dinner, and we also just book our accommodation here. One hundred and seventy dollars. Not cheap, ah. Uh. If you guys want to come here, just be, be prepared to spend. Time. I mean, it's it's about as expensive as Singapore. Maybe at certain places a little bit more. So. Singaporeans, I mean, if you're going to come for a holiday, make sure you've got money to spend. It's, it's not going to be a lepa trip, you know, you can just spend $20, $30. Yeah, so, and all those bookings that you see, right, they actually, you need to factor in uh, taxes and surcharge because those are not in the hotel prices. 19% tax. Yeah, it's quite high. The taxes are quite high. We, we search around here for food, but uh, there's nothing near the catalog. Every place closed at 7 p.m. And even if they're open, there's not much to... Uh, this place much reminds me of Australia. Oh yeah, Everything that's true. Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the temperature is about 22 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's a bit warmer. This Cominis jacket, cardigan, it has a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite comfy, the weather. So I just removed the waterproof liner and well, it's very comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You think I'm
Ooh, cute room. Cute, small, functional. Hey, but no aircon, ah? Oh, no aircon. Bro, it's cold, bro. <laughs> Hot, lah. No, got fan, lah. Got fan more than that one. Yeah, this one, no. Yeah. Hey, let's see the toilet. I want to see the toilet. The switch, huh? Very old school. Okay, man. What am I? For toilet, can flush. Good, ready, lah. Okay, we're going to tear down our stuff, set up charging stations, you know. Uh, the norm lah, and then after that we'll go for dinner. I got a very strong feeling we'll be having Italian for dinner. So Winston mentioned that the person, the receptionist is pretty cute, but not in that way. Yeah, it's, it's the character, it's like an like a, like a old lady who's very see why she's coming. she's coming in a bit. You see why? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. She's here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Salute. Yes. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Salute! She is very, very nice, very friendly. Yes. Yeah. So the menu, uh, they, they have an English in the last sentence. So, yeah, it's not cheap though, but I hope it's nice. Everywhere in Switzerland is not cheap. But what's interesting though is we are, we are very near Italy, and it seems like this hotel is run by Italians because she doesn't speak English. I was trying to figure out what language she's speaking, and I asked Spanish, she said, no, 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 that thing. thing. Grazi, grazi, grazi should be Italian, right? Winston says Italian, it's right. Italian. Turns out it is Italian. So then Google Translate comes into play. Thank you, Google Translate. Wow, it's big. And we got our dear friend Amos here. Say hi, Amos. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> we wish I'm also could, here. We wish you could be here to join us. I help you. I, 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 I help you eat, okay? I help you eat. <laughs> Don't worry, not nice one. Not nice. Not nice one. Not nice one. <laughs> not nice one. <laughs> this is a Italian pizza made by Italian. Sorry. I love you guys, but this is too good. Yeah, it's really nice. You see us eat, okay? You see us eat. Let me set up the camera first. This is the risotto and that is the pasta. It really smells so good. Authentic, genuine pasta from Italy, made by Italians. So this is, this is actually and the original carbonara from by an Italian. <laughs> My face is red, yeah. Oh, prego means you are welcome. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Very okay. <laughs> you should want to stand in there. It seems like we are eating a lot, but because we did not have lunch, we were busy on the road. Yeah. The, 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 the two bikes is just too fantastic to stop riding. Can you uh, really like, 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 okay, so this is hand on heart. I've done thousands of kilometers on the Africa Twin, and I must say that the, 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 the mileage we did, like what, 260 something today, right, on the BM, nothing. It is so comfortable, you, there is no fatigue, right? So you, you, you're riding and you're enjoying, and we're like, oh, we're already doing 200 plus. And, Nothing like like. It's testament to the brand lah. This is I'm not saying this because they are paying us or anything like that. This is legit. I I really really mean it. Like going back to Singapore, I might have a very big problem with my hands because I would probably want to buy a BM then jalan el. So we've come to the end of day one. Our riding day one, yes. right? I mean, I was quite afraid of was about how we will stay warm and how we will stay dry. Then uh, even at, when we were at Motor World, you know, picking up the gear, um, they were asking like, you know, what temperature are you going to be riding in or what temperature are you guys going to be riding in and that kind of stuff. And we were like, oh, you know, we might be in the sing single digits. So they were also a little worried because um, the conditions here range from, from so cold to... Yeah, and, and the period years. that we are here, it happens to be a rainy season. So yeah. we have to have, we have to prep ourselves for Correct. the bad weathers. 
especially riding in the rain. So Mark, what jacket do you choose from Motor World? I got the RS Tai Chi Dry Master top, pants and shoes. Not they come once, set. not whole set. Not once did I get wet anywhere. Neither did I get cold. So I got the jacket, the thermal wear, and that's all I need because the jacket itself is waterproof. So the thermal wear comes together with the jacket, right? Correct. Yeah, so I got the Komine. This is a mesh jacket, but it has a lot of versatility. Windbreaker. Ah, it's a windbreaker, and then you have another insulation layer, which is made of... So basically, it's a cardigan, that kind of material. So which is perfect because... Yeah. Some, there, I mean, so far I've come across quite uh, uh, two main riders when it comes to this kind of stuff. Some riders like to have a one that does it all. Yes. And then you have riders who love versatility, who like to go, okay, I only need a mesh jacket today. I'll only use a mesh jacket. Yeah, because if you compare this mesh, it has a bigger surface area compared to a half-half. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so like we were in a jam today. So what Mark did was... One hour jam, you yeah, know. Oh, what, speaking, I need to yeah. tell you guys. You know, uh, we say jam, right? And then you guys oh, in Singapore, yeah. you guys Malaysia, Thailand. Huh, jam? No problem, ma. Cut lah. Huh? Selit lah. No ah. <laughs> Switzerland illegal lah. No. Uh. Yes. Okay, so illegal. what a friend of mine told me, which is quite... I don't know whether it's true or not, but it's quite scary. Mm -hmm. So let's say you got a jam on the road, okay? Police knows that bikers frequent this road. They wait in front. Uh. They see you come out, they come to the Serious end. Like, uh? They stop you and then you can uh, fight. Wow. No joke, boy. No joke. Okay, okay. Today we're very quiet. We really stuck behind the cars. So during the jam, right? So what, uh, what I can do is, you know, I unzip my two or three layers. So Mark was like, easy. So this is like a vent mesh, a uh, vent, uh, what do you call this? Cover. Yeah. Right? So if you want it waterproof, you put it down, you zip it down. But then if you need some airflow, you up and then it, it tucks away. And I got airflow. Yeah, so the airflow is basically here. So this is a dual uh, dual purpose jacket. But if let's say for this combine, it is very mesh. I mean, if you call, if you yeah. if you look through the material, that it has a lot of uh, what do you call that? The mesh material is quite a lot. So yeah. if you yeah. want yeah. to have a cool cooler ride, you basically uh, I would choose this more than that because the band is just here. But this this has a much bigger area surface of bands. So area. surface area of the for the mesh area. So. If you want to ride cool, just remove the windbreaker layer and then you will feel the wind passing through your body for a cooler, cooler mm -hmm. ride. Yeah. yeah. Right off the bat, you know, the bikes, the, the whole experience, how we were received at BMW Motorrad was awesome. They knew what we were there for, they got the bikes. The bikes were, were ready to go. All we had to do was to, to chuck the bike, uh, the bags on. Fuel was pumped, the tires, uh, tires were pumped, so solid easy no easy. not fair you know why mark bike gsa was a new bike with 84 kilometers on the odometer but bro your was yours was 1000 that's not a lot yeah besides that uh we we find that the bikes are very good for this kind of roads yeah, yeah i was very surprised of how the r9 uh, r1250 rt how how the whole machines the the boxer engine you know yeah. the connectivity especially the big screen it's mm. humongous. It's really big. It's like, it's bigger than an iPad, basically. You watch movie? Though? I haven't figured out how to, can I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we have to download a BMW Motorrad app. And then after that, you pair with the, the device through Bluetooth. And then it will... It will, it will but live view, live view, you need Wi-Fi, right? Uh, yes, in order to mirror the navigation map in the, app, uh, in the BMW Motorrad app, you need to pair with Wi-Fi to the bike. Bike. But the TMD screen legit is huge. It's huge. Man. So like for, for, for your bike, you, you only can see the direction and Correct. the distance. But for me, I can literally see like how uh, the Google map, uh, you navigate, you see the map, the terrain, and where the route goes. And that's why he was leading and I was sweeping. So the next thing is uh, the road's condition, surprisingly, very good. It rained on the first part of the day, but we did not feel any sleepiness. Nothing. 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 The roads Solid. are very good. Roads not a single good. pothole I seen. Okay, I went over a few covered. Oh, holes. covered lah. Mm. No potholes are never covered. Yeah, but the road condition superb for superb. such a, a four season country. You know, you have expansion of road and all this, but yeah, the no. road condition is very mm. good. Yeah. Oh, you have a very big. Yeah. Vent at the back. So what I think, uh, what, what, what RS Tai Chi did, which is quite smart, right? So when you're riding, 
your arms are like this. Mm. Air goes in from your arms, air goes in from your chest. But if nothing, there's no exhaust in the back, then kind of defeats the purpose, right? So they put exhaust in the back. So I also can... have. <laughs> I also have. But just that, cannot cover. <laughs> yeah, so we were quite happy with these jackets provided yeah. by Motor Singapore. Maybe. So far, they have been really keeping us warm. And dry. Yeah, and, and dry. dry. Oh, and if you thought that this will get you wet, surprisingly, what we write today, nothing. But we My not. inner, inner you, was you, dry. Oh, is it? Yeah. The waterproof layer was dry. Was dry. Ah, so this jacket actually, what do you call it? Deflects or splash semi, through? Semi waterproof. Yeah, a little okay, bit. Okay, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. I mean, I was prepared to get the inner layer, uh, the uh, wind, uh, what, what do you call that? The wind breaker to be wet. Oh, but, it wasn't. Yeah, but it wasn't. But we will test it Come out back. seriously tomorrow because our we are planning to stop at Zermatt, mm -hmm. which has a weather forecast of what was it again? Uh, I think it was two to minus eight degrees. Two to minus eight degrees Celsius. Minus eight. The coldest I have breathed, I think. Yeah, the the last one was minus two. That was. Hey, no, one. that was two. Two. That was two. in Taiwan. Yeah. Oh. So this is going to be a lot colder. So we will let you know. In the next episode, at the end of the next episode, how these jackets fare. Should be alright. Mm -hmm. So far, it's been very, very, very comfortable. We're going to wake up early tomorrow to have an early breakfast and we're going to set off on the road as early as we can because the daylight here is almost 10 to 12 hours, which gives us plenty of time mm. to ride. Which is nice. Yeah, very nice. So tomorrow, we're going to, we plan to hit Zermatt. That would mean we're going to go through a lot of winding roads, you know, climbs and, and downs and whatnot. So we need to be very well rested. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm Mark. I'm Winston. And, and see, see you on, on the road. road.